guys, this is Blake from Blake Sanctum, retro site for retro games. Welcome to my Let's Play Legends of Pegasus series. If this is the first video you're watching in the series, then I'll point out that some of these missions took me 5 to 10 hours to complete, so I fast forwarded through all the boring micromanaging and grinding bits. If you really want to see what I was doing in those bits, just use the YouTube speed controls to slow down the video when you need to. Let's play! Alright, here we go guys. Mission 2. A mission that I've not seen anyone else on the internet go past, but I have already completed it in my test. Although game. I should be happy about my promotion. I can't stop thinking about the casualties tied to my victories. So few have survived in this new war. And while my fleet is defending the system, conflict escalates in the Transitional Council. Minister Keeley is for turning our backs on the enemy and moving on. <clears throat> Admiral Drex sees the future in the struggle for a new home. Whichever path we pursue, the challenges ahead will demand everything of all of us. Okay. Captain Daniels to Minister Simmons. Sir, we've reached the next star system. So far, no contact with enemy ships. Very well, Captain. Please continue your reconnaissance. We need to find out if the enemy ships have their base there. Explore the nearby planet Alpha 2-3 with your ships. Let's have a look around, shall we? So this is Alpha 2-3. Looks like there's some alien activity going on there. Lel followers. Yep, there's aliens down there in ruins. And uh, there's a gas giant over there. An asteroid field. And another one way out there. Which is a bit strange. And, uh, let me see. Oh yep, so we've got two planets over here. Eh, not bad, not bad. Well, that's pretty good. It's got ruins on it. Very nice. Hmm. Looks like there's lots of jump gates to different systems. Oh yes, look at this. So we've lost access to the home system, Alpha 1. But uh, we now have access to all these new extra systems. Uh, expanding out into the galaxy. <laughs> now... Yes, sir. In case people were wondering, there's no ship or tech carryover from the first mission. I saw a, a debate in the forums about it, and even one of the designers said, Oh, no, it does, Force but, uh, yeah, no. The sensors are picking up movement from very small ships on the nearest planet. The signatures are different from previous data. Adjust course, Commander. Let's see who our next-door neighbors are. Hi, Captain. Connect me with the planet. Then let's see what Markov has conjured up for us. Commander Craig, broadcast the signals with a new translator. Don't attack! Don't attack! We are a peaceful colony! Do not attack! Captain Daniels to the planet. We will not attack. We are a scouting fleet and come with peaceful intentions. Murtag didn't send you? Who? We are new in this sector and are settling on the other side of the jump gate. Attack to the alien ship. We forbid you from communicating with the planet and their speaker, Shannon. You are interfering in a conflict that has nothing to do with you. New ships have just appeared. They're bigger than the work ships and are clearly armed. How many are there? Well, the sensors are showing seven so far, but their weapons appear antiquated. That's Murtag's fleet. We are peaceful merchants. They attack our work ships and steal the raw materials. Our defenses have been destroyed, and we're now at their mercy. I implore you, please help us! Admiral, what are your instructions? Of course, it's against my nature to sacrifice peaceful populations, but we only have a few ships. Please think long and hard about what we gain by endangering our fleet for an undeveloped alien people. A strong partner could be of great use to us in the future. Destroy Martek, Murtek ships, sorry. <laughs> you don't have a choice, even though it makes it sound like you do. They're going to attack, you fight them. Alright, here we go. Destroyers. Yes, sir. Aye, sir. No shields. Not your new orders. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they're fine. <laughs> their only strength is their numbers, but, uh... Still confirmed, sir. Order acknowledged. If our shields keep getting that amount of damage, they will fall in a few moments. Oh, 
Attack run complete. Target destroyed. Shield integrity is falling. We have destroyed our target. Hi, sir. Carrying out your new orders. Destroy us, taking a hit. Almost there. Target destroyed. Hi, sir. Carrying out your new orders. We have destroyed our target. Hi, yeah, sir. Carrying out your new orders. We'll be fine now. Well, we're stopping this destroyed. Don't Hi, park sir. yourself Fire next to them, you idiots. <laughs> Keep flying and shooting. We have Thank you, Captain Daniels. I sensed that you wouldn't just watch a peaceful people being exploited. We'd like to strengthen our partnership by allowing you to settle with us on this newly established planet. Sir, through the conflict between the guilds, we've been given the opportunity to colonize a very suitable planet. We will try to prepare a new colonization ship as soon as possible. Okay. This is a very big mission, guys. This is probably the reason why I've not seen anyone you, else sir? on the internet uh, to finish the set? mission. Because it just goes on and on and you are right, continuously what attacked. You, and the attacks Four get really on our way. bad uh, on our way, after sir? a certain Order point. Confirmed. Uh, it's a mining mission. When you get a mission to build mines, you start getting hit hard by enemy um, destroyers, which are really powerful. So we need to make sure we're well prepared. So there, our colony ship has come through from Alpha what we do 1. For you, sir. I'm listening. Lost the planet for a second. Understood. Moving out to the planet <sighs> now. Well, let's new prepare a bit sir. of a uh, Moving out. ambush wall sir. of confirmed. defense. Yes, sir. The next Order time we're attacked. Aye, sir. Heading out for the new position. No. We didn't take any damage, but if we did, um, a couple of your destroyers have repair modules, so uh, you can use them to repair any damaged ships. Now, as you can see, we're pretty much level 3. Um, we've gone up to level 3 in all technology, so it doesn't matter what you researched last time around, it has no effect. So that's why it's best not to research like a maniac too much, just Captain research Daniels, what I'm you need. To hear that you were able to expand for the mission. our territory to a new star system. See to it that we are protected from attacks there. Understood, sir. Please pass along to Admiral Drex that I've discovered ruins on the planet, indicating a highly technologically developed people. I figure he'll want to decide what we should make of it. Indeed, Captain. I will take care of it. Build additional ships. That's a very broad um, mission there. You've got to do quite a few things to get to that point. We need buildings, infrastructure, shipyard, ship designs, all kinds of things we've got to do. So we're going to build, as you can see, we've got access to the mega factory now. So, But before, you can't just go straight to the top buildings, otherwise they take forever to build. So you've got to work towards it by building the lower level stuff first. So we'll do what we did last time. Some factories, some population buildings, housing thingos. Habitats, that's the word I was looking for. So we'll get that infrastructure going before we start going up to the mega factories and science and happiness buildings and all that kind of stuff. With other colonies, you can be a little more aggressive, like one factory, one population thing, then one mega factory. But uh, when it's your starting world, you kind of need to be complete. a bit more cautious and, um, and patient. What can we do for you, sir? Yes, sir. Any new instructions, I think sir? That, now, yes, the colony sir. ship's arms, I think. What are your orders? So, uh, it'll be useful in the blockade. Yeah, I did a test run where I sent, you know, shielded corvettes Enemy through the jump gate started. at the end of the previous mission, and yeah, it has no effect on your starting fleet in this one, sadly. So here we go, the first of the attacks. Aye, sir, so there's going to be a lot of these guys, Away like a orders. lot. It's like every something like, I don't know, eight or ten turns or something, they I come at you. What can we do for you, sir? So uh, I'm probably going to fast forward for all the attacks after this You'll until things low. change, like when the big scary I destroyers come along and stuff. Because th these, th you'll just keep getting attacked by these small Target frigate groups destroyed. until Roger. you get the mining mission. And 
so yeah, it gets uh, pretty tedious after a while, especially if you're not the one playing it and you're just watching Sadamaro, so guys, I won't subject you to it. <laughs> I'll uh, fast forward for this, because although you really want to see what's going on, as, as I, uh, you, you should be able to use the YouTube speed controls. So. I've, I've done that before with videos on YouTube. I've been able to slow them down and stuff, so should be able to do that with this. The bits I fast forward through. So my big ships are staying put, which is good. I sir, carrying out your new orders. Frigates dance around like that. We have destroyed our target. I sir, carrying out your new orders. I like it how the enemy like debris, like from those big ships, is still there, just burning away. <laughs> my my test complete. games I built like star bases in there. They had like burning wreckage all around the star bases, which is pretty cool. Oh, weapons platforms. Sorry, I went with weapons platforms. Although I might go with yes, star sir. bases this time because yes. they're bigger and cooler. Order received and understood. How's this going? This is coming along. Alright, so now that the factories are upgraded to mega factories and we've got lots of population buildings and happiness buildings and science buildings, we've got that infrastructure, so place that's yeah, there we go. I think that's a good place for the shipyard, it's safe and far away from the action. Reasonably far away. Construction has been completed. Right. Got a shipyard. Oh god, they How can take we off out there again. Moving out. Inbound right, ship editor. editor. Here we go, guys. Now we can do some more interesting stuff here. We can build corvettes and like before, but as you can see, they're still really small and useless, even though it's a Mark II. But the frigate, see that four square section? That allows you to put a big module, e.g. a colony module. So look at these, uh, sorry, a uh, system, because these are modules that I'm pointing out right now. So you can put different types, military, civil, scientific, each have their advantages and disadvantages. So this is the civil one. It's got more than anyone else, but you can't put weapons on it. So look at this, we've got some more weapons to play with too. There's some uh, double-barreled versions of some of the weapons we were using before. And the stars mean like they've been upgraded a level too. So, now we can actually fit one of these. Because like I said, you can put civil systems onto red areas, you just can't do it the other way around. You can't put weapons onto blue areas. So I'm going to put the research module for whenever you find ruins on alien planets. So I'm going to do a combo ship, because it actually, like, the cost of a ship without the module added on and all the extra systems is relatively similar to a fully kitted out ship. It seems like all the cost is in the hull and not so much the systems. So you may as well go for a fully kitted out ship. So I'm going to do a multi-purpose ship here, guys. So we're going to have, yeah, basically weapons, colony, research. So I'll be able to basically go out, colonize planets, build research stations, and then send the ship back to help with the defense of the homeworld. So it's multi-purpose. I'm going to call it a, uh, like a colony research vessel. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the, you have nothing to lose. Because, like I said, the cost is relatively similar. I think it's like 700 and something for a ship that was like the most basic ever. Like, so it's just, it's just no point in building separate colony ships, separate research vessels, and separate defense ships. Just do an all-in-one. Oh god, I nearly did it again, guys. So we'll get a bunch of them going. Now, they have just wanted you to build ships to protect the system, so doing this will trigger that. And uh, 
We're not going to use them yet, though. We're going to wait till the story tells us to, otherwise you risk breaking the game. It's, yeah, it's just a bad idea with this game, trust me. I found out in my test games. Doing things before they tell you to risks all kinds of problems. ship being built. <laughs> Construction has been completed. Channel open, waiting for orders. Alright. Alright sir, heading out for the new position. I've put a few yes, shield sir. modules on these, so they're probably stronger than the, way, than, the, uh, than the existing frigates. No, it won't be as strong as the destroyers though. <laughs> and yeah, later on in this mission we'll be building our own destroyers. Kitting them out. Has been completed. Yeah. Order acknowledged. So they can Moving help to defence until they're called upon to colonise planets in the game Captain of story. Daniels, we can greatly increase our production with the new colonies. Use the asteroid fields in the new system to acquire the necessary resources for this. Search the new system for asteroid fields and build a mining station. Yeah. Well, we saw some Sir? of them before when we were looking Moving around. <laughs> So we'll build some mining stations next. Or we'll mining ships to build the stations, like in the last mission. The construction of new prototype has been completed. What are your orders? So those resources are pretty useless. They just give you like gems and crystals and stuff and like you uh uh, you can use them then to purchase assistant from assistance from the game's minor races, which is just on this buggy screen that seems to forget what you've spent, and it's just it's not worth the trouble. But do it when the game story asks you to, though. Oh, he didn't Sir? deploy. I must have missed. Construction finished. Yeah, I yes, missed. Alright. I'll try again. There we go. Now it's deploying. Construction <sighs> has been completed. Yep, definitely building now. Not sure what I did then. Now be warned guys, when you do this mission here, this is what steps up the attacks and you'll start to get attacked by powerful destroyers with beam weapons and shields and stuff and they're, they're deadly, you wait, action. it's pretty scary. So if you want to turtle a bit more and, and research like mad and get some big ships then go right ahead. But like I said, I recommend not expanding though until they tell you to because you know, I triggered some bugs when I did that. Research has been completed. What do I want now? Got some... Oh yeah, I want those on my destroyers. I mean, they're meant for bigger ships, but you can squeeze one onto a destroyer and then it takes a lot of hits. I mean, it hurts its firepower a bit, but I'm more about getting strong shields. <laughs> Powerful research buildings to get to that tech in quicker, because 38 turns is a long time. Thanks for your communicator, Andre. Without it, my first solo flight would not have gone so successfully. Great that we managed to get out of there unscathed. I just can't believe that Drex did that. Oh, come on, Kassara. Dial down your anger. It wasn't all that bad. How could he even suggest that we watch as a peaceful populace is destroyed? Maybe he just simply assessed it differently from here. If we had suffered greater losses, then we'd just look dumb during the next attack by the... What did you call them, Andre? Zor. Zor. And the guild informed me later that these machine beings have never attacked them before. Strange, isn't it? Seriously? Maybe they just weren't a worthwhile target with their undeveloped technology. <laughs> the Zor. They have a name, these aliens. The more we learn about this sector, the more grim our situation appears. The price of gaining an ally alienates others. And even if the attacks of the Zor have slowed down, they have not stopped. As our territory grows, our fleet spread dangerously thin. But the people trust that I will protect their new homes. For all our sakes, I can't let them down. Jonathan, Admiral Drex has decided that we are to work together finding an opportunity to make use of the ruins for the colony. Artifacts from old civilizations could possibly aid us in developing new technologies. 
Understood, Andre. I'll see what I can find. Build a ship for archaeological research. The ship needs to be equipped with a Xeno research module. Well, I've already been doing that, so I guess if I just um, like build one more, it should trigger that story event. What can we do for you, sir? So we're gonna deploy a uh, another mining ship. Get to that one way out there. Oh, I can't go any further. Oh, I think that's got it. I had the rock icon, so I think that's got it. <laughs> Captain Daniels, I have new orders for you from Admiral Drex. Sir, what can I do? He wishes to learn more about the Good, I didn't have to build a ship in the end. It and to detected the, the ones already had. Colonies. In addition, he would like to determine how close the Zor threat actually is. Will do, sir. This is where things get bigger now. So you've got to build two more colonies in this system, and you've got to explore the nearby systems. So we'll, uh, we'll use our crappy unshielded corvettes for some of that exploring, I think. <laughs> Research um, colony ships, we're going to need them. Uh oh. This is the moment, guys. Well, they're all on top of each other, which looks a bit weird, but um, this is the destroyer yes, attack. Sir. Oh yes, boy. And now. I have Hi, put my defensive line at the General wrong Orson, angle. Oh, I forgot that they come from up there. We're here, sir. Yes, sir. And those Order colony ships are right the nearest ships to the enemy. Oh man. I've stuffed up a bit there, guys. Oh boy. The shields are dropping. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get out of there. We're being attacked. Yes, sir. Order received and understood. Oh god, there's the beam weapon. Oh look at it, destroy the armor on that ship. I gotta get that ship out of there, he's nearly dead. Go in there, frigates. Draw their fire. Oh my god, look at the beam weapon, the damage it did to Daniel's ship. It almost took a third off his shield. You can destroy his shield, so that... God. They're tougher, these destroyers, so you gotta be ready for them. And they'll just keep coming too. Oh, I think at one stage in my test game there was a gap when they stopped attacking. I just can't remember what that was. Oh, they're because they run on top of each other, they're sharing the damage, which means it's taking a long way to kill them, which is not doing me any favours. But we'll be okay. Oh god, look at the frigates. Need some major repair work after this. Is Good thing those target destroyers have repaired of Target is down. I repeat, target is down. Right. We have survived the first destroyer attack. What can we do for you, sir? Order acknowledged. Proceeding to position. We are ready for action. Alright, now I can start sending people out. I thought I'd better wait because I knew the attack would come. Yes, sir. Carrying out the order now. There was no point rushing when uh, you knew I knew that I'd need every ship I had to fend them off. Oh, that's a sweet planet, isn't it? Waiting for instructions. Moving into the planet's orbit now. Like in the last mission, the enemy will ignore your other planets, they'll ignore your mining stations. What are your orders? They don't care about that stuff, they'll go right past them. So don't worry about it guys, don't waste time Roger. or risk splitting up your fleet. So we're going to send these I'm corvettes listening. off to uh, those other systems. Where is it? There. Yes sir, we are approaching the jump gate now. There's going to be some more waypoints in there. Ugh. Okay, good. They're heading in the right direction. I'm going to hold off an Alpha 4 because I know from my test game that, that that's where some interesting things happen, which you'll see soon enough, guys. What can we do for you, sir? Order received and understood. Changing position. And rebuild my line to something a little better. Of course, ships are going to start flying around because of the repair work going on. They keep teleporting to what annoying places, you, but... Uh, 
On our way, sir. We'll get there. On our so way, put sir. them nearby. Construction complete. Oh, we've got a new mission. Fly to the Lel planet, Alpha 2-3, and research the ruins there. So that's in this system. And I've just sent the ships there, so what that's are all your good. Orders? All good, we've got another one here, which we can put in the, in the thing. Just realised we haven't done this our actual home planet what are yet. Your orders? And it's cheaper just to use the one from the ship than actually building one. Yes, sir. How can we assist? Now let's get onto the the whole colonising thing. So drop that down. And you can't build anything until the next turn. So you can go back to the line. Yes, sir. Order acknowledged. Proceeding to position. The other world. Beautiful. We are ready for action. Now, researching ruins gives you free technologies. I should have mentioned that earlier. So, uh, you'll hear you'll hear like a research achieve Aye, sir, carrying out your uh, new voice orders. thing when we are you can see at the top there that your Confirm. technology hasn't come in yet so you'll be like what the hell and the reason is ruins <laughs> speak of the devil here's one now Take a step backwards now. Captain Daniels, I hear you have managed to make progress with the ruins on the planet. Indeed, sir. We have managed to salvage an amazing artifact. Commander Markov's department is very confident of advancing our research just from these unique materials alone. And then on top of that, there's still the markings. Well done, Captain. However, I heard that we were not the first to have been there. That's correct, sir. We found traces of the Zor in the ruins. Even though the ruins themselves seem ancient, they definitely don't originate with the Zor. In other words, the technology is also in the hands of the enemy. We hope not, sir. The signs of their intrusion were minimal. Ultimately, the artifact was still there. Also, the guilds report that the Zor have never displayed hostility towards them. Perhaps there is a peaceful solution to all this. Now, don't be naive, Daniels. You believe in alien people more than the fact that the attacks keep taking place again and again? No, sir. Uh, of course not. I congratulate you on your progress, but please keep such reflections to yourself in the future. You will only unsettle the fleet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Somebody's on a crusade. Sir? Moving out! Aye, sir. Roger that. Annoying position. Can't quite get it how I want it. <laughs> We're here, sir. Yes, sir. Research complete. Construction finished. There you go. See, that said research complete. Oh, looks like they must have given us a military tech or something. Look at that. We've got access to the first star base. I'm definitely going to give you star bases instead of defensive platforms this time. You can pack so much stuff onto those things. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Just uh, let it keep doing what it's doing. Do I, uh, God, the planet's losing a chunk of money. Got to be careful. We've still got a decent so, uh, reserve, though. So, yeah, let's go for more population to uh, lessen some of that. Let's 
get building on our new colonies. before I generally go quicker to the mega factories uh, especially when the space is tight I mean with this one uh, I might do a bit more I might do it the more cautious better way oh, hang on maybe I shouldn't yeah yeah save the red one for the mega factory when it comes along our ships have arrived so, this is like in the other mission where you gotta get the waypoints. So you just gotta visit each one of them, it's a bit tedious. And then once you're done, you basically just send your ship back to the defense, you know, back to your uh, fleet. And then we can uh, look at the third system. So yeah, there's uh, a few planets in the system, I'll have a look at them. Moving out. Oh, and I forgot to do it in the other system, so I'll do that in a minute. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Moving out. <laughs> Sorry. Let's have a look. What have they got? Oh god, that's terrible. Ruins. Krogal followers. Those are the aliens that attacked us earlier. So they got a colony there, but not like it's not like a colony colony like ours though. It's like um, it's more like a. Minor race bonus ability if you steal this planet from them, kind of kind of colony. Because <laughs> yeah, it was a proper colony, you'd have to invade the darn thing. So uh, I forgot to look at this system, so that's another boring planet. Looks like it's got the Krogal followers on it, and this one's got some ruins, but it's terrible as well, so that's a pretty useless system. Everyone's back home again. Ooh, shall I go for it? Yeah, let's do it, guys. I want the star base. Start putting up a good defense against those destroyer attacks. Or should I? I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I wouldn't mind that large shield as well. Screw it, yeah. <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> I still want so many things. I want all the things. Better save it before something bad happens. Kind of amazed it hasn't crashed on me yet, though, considering all the people's uh, problems other people talked about. Construction finished. <sighs> yeah, we'll get rid of uh, get rid of our crappy habitats, replace them with the lovely new mega cities we researched. So they can fit lots more people. More people means more money. And get out of this uh, deficit. Ah, oh, so that's what. Okay. The Lel followers increase your income a bit. What are your orders? Affirmative, moving to our new position. How can we assist? I think I'm... I think this might be the window where you don't get attacked for ages. I think. Away so I reckon this is the time... We're here, sir. ...to proceed Welcome to the next board, stage sir. of the mission. Waiting for which is to explore that third system we haven't been to yet and I remember from my test game there's some interesting stuff that happens when you go there so I'm going to send some yes, destroyers, some colony ships, now. research uh, modules, you know I'm going to take, a, take it there and uh, hopefully I'm right and we won't get attacked in the home system because I haven't left that much yeah see it's more waypoints but as you can see there's some alien activity in here Looks like uh, Daniels and the Destroyers have got in before the colony ships, they're a bit faster. I only put one tiny engine on the colony what ships, are your orders? It's we difficult to grab ships action. when they're in front of the jump hole. <laughs> jump gate. Alright, so I'm going to save us some time there? and I'm going to split them up. Uh, Any new instructions, just get them to sir? do three different uh, 
waypoints, and you can do that. Yes, it, won't, uh, it won't jam the game or anything. Like we that. are ready for order. Well, not that it would jam. I mean, um, break the the game's uh, scripts, which is uh, not hard to do. Order acknowledged. Proceeding to position. Yeah, there's, there, there's interesting ways to make a, a mission unfinishable, so you've got to be careful. And like I said, not race ahead of what they tell you to do. In these earlier missions, anyway, I think later on in the game orders. it should open up a bit more. Yes, sir. We are ready for should. action. I'm not sure yet. But I've been playing around with mission three in my test games, and uh, that seems a little more. Order acknowledged. Up. Proceeding to position. Yes, sir. Because you know, my, the strategist in me just um, wants to, you know, colonize, colonize, like the, straight away. Go, go, go. Speed, speed, speed. But. Uh, Inbound in this game, for new position. Be a bit careful. It's good to hear the star systems directly connected to us are free of enemies. Still, we must better prepare ourselves for the attacks of the Zor. Admiral Drex would like our colonies to be further protected through stationary artillery. Yes, sir. We'll do. Captain Daniels, since the exploration of the ruins has paid off so well for us, Admiral Drex wishes you to locate a planet well suited for the expansion of our research facilities. Each new technology ultimately means an advantage in the fight against the Zor. I'll try to find a fitting planet as soon as possible, sir. 